I've been doing this channel for a year and you know at the outset the the, the point was to make a channel uh, a, I guess about um, a person with autism for other people with autism like kind of more like me because when I'm looking for YouTube videos, relatable YouTube videos, while I am able to relate to all of the persons on the who are on the spectrum, I, may, I like I love their videos, but the the thing is, is that they're so well produced. I feel like they set this bar like way up here, along with every other YouTube creator and I'm just um <laughs> doing that is really hard when you're doing <sighs> I don't even know how to say this when you're um <laughs> trying to keep a mask off I'm not gonna I, like I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never gonna have an elaborate set up and I hate saying I'll um, never, so let me backtrack on that. But you know what I mean. You get what I mean, right? So for the first time ever, I got um, positive feedback in the form of a comment in the comment section. Like, You know, did did, did, did did Dolores, is Dolores Cannon's prediction, did, did, did we just split into the new earth? A comment from somebody who said that they related to me. It was such, like, I, I can exhale. I exhale finally. I keep trying to keep it, the focus narrowed. And because of the terrible feedback that it, I only have received it and and because I have made a successful ass YouTube channel before but I was completely in a mask there's a link to it wherever but it is that I put links I don't know I know everything I want to say it's in here right it's in here and but it, it's all just kind of there it like all of my thoughts are like doing the motherfucking salsa dance together and and all of them are all equally good thoughts and i want to say them all but they're just kind of they're like oh uh, the women aren't letting the men lead so basically what i'm trying to say is that you know i've been doing this this trying to this narrowed focused autistic thing channel for a year just it's the, all the um, feedback has has been shit. Now I ha I feel like I have a reason to, to keep going. Thank you, Lily. Smell the is it smell the lilies? <laughs> Which is um to me anyway. Like um I, I see signs and everything. I also see faces and everything, but that's a whole other video. <laughs> you know, um, synchronicities. That's the name. Of the name of my other channel is Yaz Lily. <laughs> so, I guess I'm, I'm just the good feedback I got today just fried my brain, and I'm so excited to get it that um, I'm just. I, I have another topic that I want to talk about, about stimming, except weird stimming. I have, I did weird, I do weird stems, especially when I was a child. I had some extremely significantly weird stems. So let's dive right in. Is, is that what I'm supposed to say? Let's, let's, let's jump in. Let's dive in. Let's just, let's do that love idioms. So today I'm only going to be talking um, about two of my stems. Feel free to comment below about your weird stems and if you like I can't I can't even pretend to, to, to smash that like button. Hit hit like 
I'm like, okay, this is my autistic brain goes. I have like literally probably thing I watch the most are YouTube videos. So I kind of know how to hit the like button and I know when I'm going to hit the like button or smash it or. <laughs> and can we all just be honest here and say that none of us have ever smashed a fucking like button. It would break our shit. I, f I feel like I don't need to tell everybody to do it because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to work their YouTube buttons. My mom taught me how to type. She was a legal secretary. In the summertime, when I would have my visitation with her, you know, when, before she'd let me stay home alone. And you know, since I'm Generation X, I couldn't stay at home alone until I was at least seven and a half or eight. But she would take me to work with her and she taught me how to type. Like in the first grade, second grade. I mean, it, it was so funny when went, because when I got to high school, I think I took typing like in the 10th, was in the 10th grade. And I'm just like, just blowing through everything, typing, like I'm coming in, typing like a hundred words a minute, which I, I realize isn't super fast, but it is when you're, <laughs> when you're 14 or 15 and you just, did it for kicks in the summertime. So we, we've got the typing, right? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to ex explain this stem. Go back to my dad's house and show him, because they I had always I always had a typewriter when I was a kid, and show him how, like the new skills that I had learned. And I remember my dad, he used to love writing pen. I mean, used to, I'm sure he still does. We just don't speak anymore. But um, he would either, he would use his pen to, to either write or he would type. Now is the time for every good man to come to the aid of their country. So I started typing that just to get faster and, you know, and so what happened was over time, I started like typing, now is the time for every good man to come to the aid of their country on this like air keyboard, you know, like the air guitar, air key keyboard. And like, if I did it once a day, I did it a million times a day. In fact, I did it repetitively over and over just on the on my air keyboard just now's the time for every good man to come save their country i did that that and that i think that's just a super weird stem i had another one i think my like first second and third grade stem was and fourth and fifth yeah definitely definitely fourth fifth and sixth every time i would step outside and then it, it evolved into doing it in my bedroom and all over the house i felt like i had to do cartwheels and i didn't like i like, it got to a point where like i couldn't stop myself from just if i'm taking a step i got to do a cartwheel and then i know this is probably really hard to listen to but if you're sitting here watching this and you're a neurotypical and the only reason you're sitting here watching this is not because you're trying to understand me or my people you're just watching so you can make fun of me but i got love today so so i'd open up i got got to where i would i was very I, i've never watched scary movies because they're scary i don't like being scared I don't know why anybody likes to feel scared. I don't. And um, someone, some adult in my family stamped yes on the decision to let me watch Return of the Living Dead in like the second grade, which I don't know how that happened. Anyway, it literally just <laughs> gripped my mind in a vice grip and wouldn't let it go. And so I'd walk, I remember walking into my bedroom and like getting from the door to the bed because I would usually cartwheel in, right? So I cartwheel in. Well, once this zombie fear hit, I felt like, oh God, cause I can't cartwheel onto my bed anymore because when I put my head down by the, underneath the bed, the zombies are gonna eat my brain. It caused this disconnect, like, I can't cartwheel in my bed anymore. <laughs> one last stem that I did. I forgot about this one. Don't know why I forgot about it, but starting, I guess, and these all started in like elementary school. I would, I would take these two fingers and I would 
always like pull the like just rip the skin off of my lip off of my top lip and i did it so much that it would just the, the, like right here it would just stay a pile of bloody meat and i wish i were exaggerating it got to a point and i've told y'all that my stepmom couldn't stand me but <laughs> she was even becoming concerned and like her being concerned about my welfare was always shocking to me she would say that's how you that's how you give yourself cancer <laughs> like, i can't make this shit up i went over to my mom on the weekend and she told me well sarah sue this is what you do you just you, you put a tight rubber band on your wrist and every time you reach up there to to pick your lip you just pop yourself and i'm like okay that makes sense i'm gonna try that and i did it but it didn't slow down me picking my lip. I just would pick and then snap and pick and snap. And like my brain never, never registered. The point was for my brain to register this with pain. And like, my, number one, I didn't real. I didn't know this was an autistic thing. Did you know this was an autistic thing that um, our pain tolerances are uh, either really they say some of us have really low ones i don't i don't necessarily believe that i think all neurodivergents have this extremely high pain tolerance where we can just literally like i, I broke that twice the same way a year apart <laughs> and i'm like i didn't go to the hospital because i'm they can't do anything for a collarbone. Yeah, they're gonna give you a sling, but they, they're not gonna, they can't set the bone or anything. And I'm, so I'm not gonna go sit in a, an emergency room all night waiting for a sling. It's not happening. Thank you for um, <laughs> being here. I hope somebody can uh, relate to weird stimming.